Hey guys, this is Azdajuki, and today we're going to be checking out an inventory analyzer. So, the original idea for this was by a guy called Emerald Fire. You can find a link to his channel in the description. He does some pretty cool stuff with Command Box, so I highly recommend you go over there and check out a couple of his videos. And yeah, what this thing does is it goes into your inventory, and it can basically determine whether you have any of a particular block, and give you redstone-based outputs based on that. So what this thing does at the moment, it is set to diamonds. If we look in my inventory, we can see I do not have any of those. I just have a couple fun making blocks. So we're going to go ahead and go, and the machine's going to check our inventory and see if we have any diamonds. There it is in the bottom left corner of the verdict. We do not have any diamonds. Oh. So now if we get a diamond into our inventory, and we get up in the corner right there, have a diamond, go through the same machine again, and bam, you have a diamond. And then it takes it away from us, because it has been used as a payment. I'll go through it again, because I don't have a diamond anymore. You don't have a diamond. So, I'll show you guys the redstone behind it. Here it is. This whole, this whole lot is only four wide, which is extremely compact for what it is. And here we have this gold section here is just the input, it's not part of the me mechanism itself. And this lapis section here is how it determines the output from a single single wire. So it can actually determine whether that is on or off to two separate outputs. That's what that's for. And this main iron section here is obviously the, the device itself that can determine whether, you, whether or not you have the item in your inventory. So yeah, this thing is extremely fast. Um, it only takes a couple of seconds for it to fully process everything and give you your output. And yeah, so how this thing works is you get teleported into this hole right here on that block. And then these huge block of command blocks, block, 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 give you 373, which is an unobtainable potion of regeneration with a damage value of 1. This is so that it doesn't get confused with any other items in your inventory later on when it is removed. So the reasoning behind these regeneration potions is to fill your inventory. So when you're standing here, your inventory will get full to the brim because there's 36 of them, which is enough to fill every slot. And then all the spares will go into the floor right here. Then this piston here will pulse, which pushes all of those extra ones into the lava, and they get destroyed. Then this dispenser up here will dispense your item. So, in this case, diamond, it'll dispense. And then, your player will get teleported out. Now, at this point, this piston here gets retracted. And then the only possible thing that could hit this pressure plate that is in here right now is the block that was dispensed from that dispenser. So, if you had a diamond in your inventory, like this... When it got dispensed at you, it would then stack on top of this diamond. So that when this piston here was retracted, there would not be any item to hit this pressure plate. Whereas if you did not have a diamond, and your inventory was completely full of potions of regeneration, that item would then just sit on the floor, and you get teleported out. Then it would come down here and hit this pressure plate. So there's the difference. It can then detect whether you have a diamond or not. That output then comes out of this piston right here and then is then decoded into two outputs. So, as we can see here, we have the blank output, and then the knotted output, and they are both anded with the line that, um, this line here basically turns off when the machine is finished working, and then allows w which signal is on, basically. So, if this piston was actually retracted, we can see that when it went down, and that turned off, this one would actually be active. So that's how that works in a nutshell, and that's how you get your two different outputs. And basically how this works is that just says you have a diamond, that one says you don't have any diamond, and then if you do have diamond, it'll clear your inventory of diamond. So there's a download in the description below if you want to download it and try it out for yourself, but there's a few things that you'll have to do just to make it work for your world. First of all, this command block right here, you're going to want to change these three sets of coordinates to the location of in here. So you're going to wait, want to break these two blocks, and then get in here, hit F3, and see, there's your coordinates right there. You're going to want to plunk them into that command block. And the second command block you're going to want to change is up here. This one right here. You're going to want to change those coordinates to where they get teleported after this is done all its processing. Uh, in my case, that was right out here. And then input-wise, the input is right on this block. So what I did in the video is I just brought it out like this. I think I used a repeater. Yeah. And then, there you go. You just wacky input straight into there from whatever you like. Um, one thing with this is that if you had a bunch of them next to each other, they could technically interfere, because all of these work by targeting the nearest player. But what you can do, actually, is add arguments into it. 
that way it only targets the nearest player at a certain set of coordinates and then you can just use the coordinates that are in this box and then the coordinates where they get teleported out to for um, say this block here where it needs to remove that item you need to make it so that it's over there because that's actually executed after they get teleported out so this design works on bucket and vanilla minecraft servers and also single player um, because the way bucket actually spawns items is it spawns it directly into the inventory slot whereas in vanilla minecraft it actually spews the item out of you and then you pick it up so that's how that works in vanilla so the way to combat this and to make it bucket friendly is I actually used a dispenser to dispense the diamond instead of using a command block. Um, now, some of you may be thinking that that is kind of annoying because then you have to refill the dispenser, but you actually don't. I'll show you guys really quickly a really quick and easy trick to make your dispensers infinite. So what you're going to need is a program called MC Edit. There will be a download link in the description, and this is basically a map editing tool for Minecraft, and it has, some, has a heck of a lot of cool features. So what you're going to want to do is come over to your device right here, the inventory analyzer, and you're going to want to zoom in, fly around and find the dispenser right here. You want to double click on it, and then basically this number here will normally be 1. What you want to do is just put a negative in front of it. That's it. You just hit done, and you click save. It's that easy. That dispenser will now never run out of an item, uh, unless you replace the item with a different one, and then you'll have to redo this. One other quick thing to mention is that if you want to change what item it is actually used to look for. You can just change what item is in the dispenser and you can come over here and just change that item ID there to whatever item ID it is that you just put in that dispenser and then you just simply change these two pieces of text or do whatever you want with those redstone based outputs. You will then have to do the MC edit trick which I just showed you again but yeah thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it. Be sure to download it below if you want to check it out. Please leave a video response if you find anything cool that you can do with it. I'd really like to see what you guys can come up with. Uh, yeah, just a really quick update on why I haven't been uploading as much lately. I've been working really hard on a PvP map, and it is so close to being done, and so frustrating because it cannot be released. Um, this is due to the Minecraft repeater glitch, whereas if a repeater is in an unloaded chunk, and then the input to it is changed, it'll get locked up and stay in its old state. So this map was on such a huge state, state scale <laughs> that nothing could be updated properly so that's a bit of a bummer but anyway that that's why um i have some pretty cool plans coming up and got a few little little things like this to be uploaded soon so yeah thanks guys for watching so much and i'll see you next time